What do you think of when you hear the expression, the body of Christ? If you're familiar with St. Paul's letters, you probably immediately think of either the Eucharist or the church. St. Paul writes that each of the baptized is a member of the body of Christ and that Jesus is the head of the body. Do you consider yourself part of this body, connected to Jesus and to other Christians the way individual cells are connected to you, to your body? Hello, this is Father James Kubicki with a couple thoughts about this month of November. I bring up this teaching about the body of Christ because many people seem to think that once people die and leave this earth, the connection with them is broken. They can't pray for us and we can't pray for them. But this month, when we honor all saints and pray for the souls of deceased people, reminds us that though we may be separated from the dead by space and time, we remain spiritually connected to them. Though people die, they still remain members of the body of Christ. They're not like the cells of our physical body which die and then disappear. No, though separated from us physically, the dead are not gone, but remain connected to us through the body of Christ. So you can keep asking for the help of holy and good people who've died. And if you have unfinished business with anyone, or if you know someone who surely died with unfinished business, pray for them. Pray that whatever their weaknesses, faults, failings, whatever hurtful and sinful things they did in this life may be healed and purified. Though their sins may be forgiven, the consequences of those sins still live on in your life and in the lives of others. Pray for the healing of those consequences so that these deceased people may be at peace.